All right, Nathan, thank you so much for coming in. It's absolutely my pleasure. Thanks yeah. again for having me. You know, Appreciate it. For a lot of you who do not know Nathan, I met him after he's been trying to, he's been showing up to our office for a couple of years. And what I think got me to really pay attention to mm -hmm. your company and what you guys do initially was that hydro beef protein. Great product, absolutely, right? yeah. You know, yeah. but now Nathan, he's been a huge, huge help mm -hmm. in explaining different products that your company Designs for Health has. And right. one of the reasons why I brought Nathan in is because of his specialty in nutritional products, you know, and his education. So first, hmm. tell us more about your, your background, Nathan, Great. and I'd, what you do. I'd love to. Uh, we always like talking about ourselves, don't we? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we'll, we'll get to more important stuff in a little bit. But for now, uh, yeah, just a little bit about myself, my background. So I actually started off in organic chemistry. Uh, I was a typical lab rat. Spent about 12 years uh, doing oncology research, uh, just mixing chemicals, things like that. So primarily I worked on uh, cancer, you know, how to find the cure for cancer and everything. But what it really led me to, I, was, I found it ironic that here I am trying to find the cure for cancer and all of these chemicals that I'm working with are going to give me cancer. Right. So I just, I knew I had to get out. I, I, I couldn't stay there anymore. And I wanted to find more of a natural approach to uh, not only cancer therapy, but just really any disease, any disorder in general. So once I left the corporate world, I, I became kind of self-taught. I ended up getting a lot of certif certifications for natural therapies, for integrative medicine, um, for, uh, well, primarily just online research. There's so much online and there's a lot of stuff that you kind of have to filter through as well. But over the years, I've become certified. I opened up my own podcast and just really got interested in how the body works and how we can dare I say, cure the body from those diseases and disorders with more natural and integrative therapies. And I think a lot more people nowadays are looking for that. Absolutely, They're looking for more, more than ever. holistic ways yes. um, to help the body, to help boost their immune system. Yeah. And I think this is a bigger time for this than any other time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's wonderful. And because of the internet, people are becoming more and more educated. And that's leading to this revolution in a way that people are demanding more natural therapies, more integrative therapies that the allopathic approach just can't provide anymore. You know, we, we're used to going to the doctor and getting a pill, going home and just saying, okay, call me in three weeks or whatever. Right. But it's just not working. It, it hasn't worked. It really just covers up what's going on underneath. Whereas natural therapies, integrative therapies, they get to the root cause of the problem. Mm -hmm. It may take a little bit longer, but at the end of the day, you're going to be living a healthy lifestyle as opposed to really just a, a, a tough life with taking medications and pills and not really feeling any better. You know, so I, I love right. to see this revolution, so to speak. Right. Now, how a lot of patients and a lot of people mm -hmm. want to know Mm -hmm. What is the difference between some of the nutritional products, mm -hmm. vitamins that they can get at like Walmart, oh, yeah. CVS, Target, yeah. Costco, right? With those huge jars. Yeah. How are they different than what a top product is? Right. How do people even know? Right. Absolutely. And, and uh, I mean, the whole adage, you get what you pay for really matters in this case for sure. And I don't want to downplay any other company or anything mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. um, but. But if you look at those big bulk supplements, they're bottom of the barrel, they're very, very cheap to make, and the margins on those are huge because they're getting, the. when I say they, uh, the company that's selling those products, they're getting them at absolutely discount prices and then they're marking them up two, three, four hundred percent. It's a, It's just amazing, it's kind of sickening to me actually, uh, just to see how much money they're making off of those products. So those products are very difficult for the body to absorb. Mm. It's, it's in essence kind of like eating chalk or taking, taking chalk. Your body can't really metabolize chalk, can't really absorb it. So you're making really expensive, pardon my uh, language, but you're making expensive pee and you're making expensive poop and that's about it really. So the difference with the top tier companies is that those products, 
they're going to be a lot higher quality and your body's actually going to be able to assimilate those products. Like meaning the, that's like the bioavailability. Absolutely. Right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Took right, the words right, right out of my mouth. Right. That's what you're looking for. And and yep. and people have a lot more absorption. But right. beyond that, what else is right. different? Great. And so I don't think a lot of people are quite aware that the FDA does not regulate mm. supplements. So anything right. that you buy at a Costco uh, that's a supplement, right, right, right. whatever's on the label, it's not regulated by the FDA. I mean, I can write whatever I want to on a supplement label, and then I can put in dirt. I could put dirt into a bottle, and I could sell it as vitamin C. That's how bad it is. It's wow. because it's not regulated at all. There's no regulation whatsoever. So again, those top tier companies actually take it upon themselves to self-regulate in a way. Hmm. They, um, they pay for third third party, I was kind of got confused there, but third party right. uh, companies that do the regulation for them. So there are two primary companies that do that. It's You may see it on those bottles if you look for CGMP, which stands for Certified Good Manufacturing Practice. Mm. And that's what that third party certification does. It basically says, okay, what is on the label is actually what's in the bottle. Oh, so you wow. know exactly that, what you're I getting. I had no idea. That's yes. something brand new. <laughs> yes. See, I knew I was going to learn. Every time we sit down, Absolutely. I learn something new. Absolutely. And, and I, I, okay. I was amazed at right. that to find that out myself, that the FDA doesn't regulate supplements. Right. Anybody can sell anything they want to as a supplement because it's not regulated. So look for CGMP and or NSF. I forget what NSF stands for, but they're the mm. second party uh, that also does that as well. Wow. And, you know, how did you end up choosing designs for uh, health. You've been yes. working with designs for health for how many years now? About 10 years Whoa. myself. Yeah. 10 so, years? Yes. Well, wow. I've only recently been working for them. Right. So for the past three years or so. Yeah. But I actually use designs for health in my own practice. You've been using I've been products. using it for about 10 years now. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And it was initially because of the, the school that I went to. I went to um, the University of Bridgeport. It was under their online program for human nutrition. Mm -hmm. So I, I went to school for that and it was there that I uh, found out about Designs for Health. Mm. And then I also, through a company that I used to work for as a nutrition coach, uh, the, the lead nutritionist that was there, she also used Designs for Health. Wow. So I just saw all these different companies and places that use Designs for Health and for me, once you find a good company, I'm, right. I'm sticking with it. You know, right. I know there's a lot of them out there, uh, and I would always get so many of my clients would come to me and say, "Oh, what do you think about this? What do you think about that?" I mean, truthfully, they could be okay, but when you find a company or companies that do the things the right way, you want to stick with them because it's just ethically and morally, you have no idea what other companies are doing. It's very difficult. So. You really have to get involved and spend time. I mean, years and years I've been growing with Designs for Health. I've been understanding them. Um, I know the owner. You know, just really finding out what they're all about and the ethics that go along with that specific company, that's so, so important because you got to know they're in it for the right things, right. right reasons. Like for me, I always like to make sure I do a research. Yes. You know, I watch videos, I do research. Just like you said, a lot of the top holistic practitioner, yeah. my functional medicine practitioners that I know hmm. use designs for health yeah. to to help the body heal itself. Right. You know, ultimately. Right. How did Designs for Health, how long has the company been in, yeah. in, in, in the history now? Just celebrated their 30th anniversary uh, wow. last year. So wow. since 1989. And it's a very interesting story how they started. The owner and his wife, uh, they were actually uh, nutrition coaches as well at the right. time. And they were using a product, L-carnitine, for weight loss. So they primarily did weight loss. And it worked great up until a certain time where they started using the same product and it just wasn't working anymore. So they're trying to figure out what... Same exact product. Same exact product. Yep. Wow. And they're trying to figure out what, what's going on here. Why is it not working anymore? Mm -hmm. They sent it off to get tested. And sure enough, what was on the label was not in the bottle. So the wow. company changed the formulation wow, wow, wow. of whatever product, or the L-carnitine that was in there. Right. And so they decided, well, you know what? We're going to make our own supplements. So they started making L their own L-carnitine. Again, got those same great results. So that just, again, goes to show that you don't know what's in the bottle if it's not certified by one of those third-party testings, you know, because the FDA doesn't regulate it at all. Right. So that's initially how Designs for Health was founded making supplements. And now they've got over 350 different products, which is 
incredible. And incredible. you you mentioned before that they are one of the companies that kept everything in house, right? Yes. From from like the the raw products. Yeah. Tell me about that process. Great. Yeah. Yeah. So I I would say about eighty five to ninety percent of the products are manufactured in house. Uh, the other ten to fifteen percent are like bars and things like that that uh, we just don't have the capabilities to make the actual bars. I mean we we give the companies. Uh, the the recipes and tell them what to do and everything. But as far as the manufacturing process goes, again, what's great about Designs for Health is the fact that we test everything coming into our manufacturing plant. Mm -hmm. So we don't take their word for it that, okay, yes, this is what it's what they say it is. We test everything, all that raw material that comes in, we test it first. Uh, we test it for uh, pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, you know, heavy metals, that sort of thing as well. So not just to see what it is, but to see if there's any uh, toxins or anything like right. that as well. And then during that manufacturing process, everything is, is batch tested. So we kind of take it out, test it. And then of course, at the very end, before we ship it out, it's tested again. So three times these products are tested, these raw materials are tested before we ship them out. Wow, that's a very thorough it is, and I, I am I am shocked that Designs for Health actually makes money. I really am. Um, just over the past two to three years, I've seen how much more money the owner has been investing in right just in, programs in a, in a, in a great and, product. Absolutely, right. absolutely. It it boggles my mind how much money they actually put into producing these products. Right, it's crazy. Well, <laughs> that's why also we have um, decided to choose mm. Designs for yeah. Health to partner with and collaborate with Absolutely. to create some of the products that we have mm -hmm. in-house now as well. Right, and I'm really looking forward to kind of that partnership, you know, so mm -hmm. we do work with practitioners to uh, for them to help formulate products for their own practice and for their own patients. And for us, it's great to see that because we, we really see the time uh, that you invest in that because again, you could simply just, you know, get products from anywhere, designs for health right. or anywhere and then sell them. but you have such an emotional attachment to your patients. You care so much about them that mm -hmm. you want the absolute best for them. Right. So you come in, formulate the products, kind of tell us what to do basically, and then we produce those products uh, specifically for the practice. So right. we, we really love these, these types of partnerships, right. absolutely. Well, how overall, um, when you look at patients, mm -hmm. you know, and, and getting well and different practitioners using everything that you guys have, mm. What, what would be the next step in growth for Designs for Health, you know? What, what are yeah. you guys looking at the, the big picture wise? Because there, it's almost like it's an uphill battle yes. with pharmaceuticals, Yo. right? <laughs> you know, being a chiropractor yeah. in a natural holistic yeah. practice, what are, I mean, there's gotta be some obstacles. How are yeah. you guys overcoming that? And what, what's the future here? What do you foresee yeah, the absolutely. future for, for wow. you know, nutrition? Uh, to kind of go back to the point of the obstacles that I see, it it really is tough to get into the allopathic model. And the reason I say that is because we do have uh, a handful of medical doctors, doctors that kind of grew up, so to speak, in the, the medical field, the allopathic model. And then they change after 20, 30 years of doing what they were doing, they notice that, hey, this isn't working. So they changed to become more integrative doctors and they were, they were shunned by their peers. Their peers just, they, Right. They won't interact with them anymore. Right. It's, it's right, right, right. crazy to me because it's like we're adults here. Right. You know? Um, so it's really nice to see that, but I think it'll be a long time before the typical allopathic medical model accepts nutraceuticals as a viable option for uh, disease and disorder prevention and care. Mm -hmm. uh, that being said, you know, I mentioned that the internet has done wonderful things in terms of being able to educate um, the layperson, and now anybody can go online and do the research for themselves. They don't have to rely on their doctors anymore. And because of that, I really think that uh, telemedicine and online medicine is really going to be where it's at coming up mm -hmm. in the future. And that's another thing that I'm really happy with Designs for Health. They are at the forefront of that. And that's another thing they've been spending a lot of money on is getting prepared for that. So we don't just deal with supplements. We we work with practitioners to find out what they need, and then we provide solutions for those practitioners to help the patients as best we can. Because wow. we look five, 10 years down the line, right. 
in terms of what's it going to look like in the future. And, and it's that it's the telemedicine. I really think that's the way it's going to be. Being able to work with your practitioner one on one via Zoom or Skype or something like that, I think is where it's going. Right. And, um, you know, not just Designs for Health, of course, but a, a lot of companies are now getting ready for that. And mm. uh, I'm not sure if, when you're watching this, but we're right in the middle of the coronavirus thing going on right, right now. And it's right. it's just crazy. But it, in my mind, we all knew it was coming in terms of just this online model. But this the virus just sped everything up. So it's it's here and it's here to stay for sure. So we look forward to working with practitioners to build their online practice yeah. so that we can help more people. Right. I mean, yeah. just as, uh, as we were talking about it the other day, mm -hmm. yesterday, we had one of our patients that phoned in and was like, hey, I need to order some nutrition. Yeah. How can we do that? Yeah. And they just went online and pay for it. And then uh, we, we went out and we're shipping it through them. You know, that's, so it's, uh, that's, that's the way it's going to be. That's it, the way it's going to be. Yeah. 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 So we want to make it as easy for patients to get the nutrition that they need right. to get through something like this. Right. You know, this is people underestimate stress. They really right. do from from all that I've seen. It, it's amazing to me how much we as a society mm -hmm. just don't give stress the respect it deserves. Right. And it's not just mental, emotional stress. There's physical stressors as well. There's obviously chemical stressors mm -hmm. from toxins and whatnot. But all these stresses combined, they, they wear down the body and we aren't even consciously aware of it. Mm -hmm. So the more that we can you know, continue with proper nutrition and proper supplementation and everything, I, it's only going to help. And right. with something like this where people can't get out of the houses, we need to keep up with proper nutrition. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I completely agree. Now, one yeah. thing I just thought of it in my mind ah. right now, and I think this is going to be a gem for a lot of people mm -hmm. that are watching, is patients come in telling me, they said, you know, I asked my doctor about this nutrition mm -hmm. or this vitamin, oh, yeah. and the doctor didn't really have a clear answer right. for them, right? Mm -hmm. And then the patient ended up having to do their own research or right. they come to me to ask about it. Yeah. Why do you think there's a, a huge disconnect between yeah. <laughs> medical doctors and telling their patients or not really sure what to recommend? Right. Is, is it the, with what you have been, you know, talking to with a lot of doctors and practitioners, mm -hmm. is it the lack of not knowing or yeah. is it that they can't yeah. do it? What, what, do, what do you think? They don't is? know. And, okay. and, and with all due respect, I mean, these guys sacrifice 10, 12, 14 years of their life to go through school uh, to become a medical doctor. So I, all due respect. Lots, lots of um, respect for that. I, I wanted to become a doctor and I went through about three years of school and I'm like, nope, I'm done. Uh, so that's how I ended up in organic chemistry. So the, the issue with medical doctors though is their program only includes one semester of nutrition. Uh, it just may have one changed. semester. Right, just one semester from okay. what I understand. Wow. But the problem with that again is you know, I, I went through these classes and these nutrition programs, they don't tell you what the products, what the supplements actually do inside the body. And that's why I wanted to become more into nutrition and health because, you know, tell me what food does inside my body. Right. How does it make my body work better? What does right. this vitamin do? What does that vitamin do? I really wanted to know what it did inside my body. And these nutrition classes are very basic nutrition classes in terms of just, you know, well, you should be eating less fat, uh, more carbohydrates, more protein, and, and that whole, I, that's the model that, that kind of the purveying, purveying model out of the 1970s and 1980s, that, that food pyramid, uh, which right. thankfully is kind of going the way of the dodo now that people are understanding that fat isn't necessarily bad for you. And uh, too many carbohydrates are obviously bad for you, but it really is that lack of, of knowledge that the medical doctors, they just don't have. They're not the people to be asking for nutritional help. Uh, chiropractors that do functional medicine are naturopaths. Uh, also acupuncturists that do functional medicine are. Any integrative therapist is going to, they're the ones that are gonna be to ask, uh, what kind of foods should I be eating? Mm -hmm. What foods are right for me? What supplements are right for right. me? Right. Yeah. And you had asked earlier kind of, uh, the difference between some of those other supplements out there and uh, kind of the top tier supplement right. companies like Designs for Health. Right. Another really key important difference is the fact that these top tier companies, they don't sell over the counter. 
meaning you can't go to a Costco, you can't go to a typical pharmacy and buy these products and, and off why the is shelf. That? Because they're powerful. Uh, okay. They're very powerful products that really affect the body quite a bit. They can make changes. Exactly. Okay. They can make changes and your practitioner needs to know what changes they can make. Because, I mean, let's not kid ourselves, you know, some of those things out there like snake poison can affect your life in a bad way, obviously. Right. So can too much or too little supplementation. So you really have to know what you're intaking. And it has to be right for you, the individual, because every body is different. And it's, I always thought it was interesting that for some reason we think that, um, you know, what vitamin works for one person works for somebody else. But we're all different on the outside. Right. Why do we think we're different on the inside? Right. We're all different on the inside biochemically. Right. So your practitioner, the integrative practitioner understands that and they know specifically what supplements you need. And that's why because these supplements are powerful, because they don't work the same on every person, mm. you need to get hooked up with somebody that understands that and that can work with that and does some testing to figure out exactly what your body needs. Wow. Yeah. That's that's very very powerful. Yeah, it really is. The, it really is. That that really I think states why mm. people um, right. need to, to look at different things. Yeah. And it's not just, oh yeah, that's that's gonna be the one. Whatever they see at the store, let me yeah. just get that. Because those are- You don't know. Yeah, you don't know. You don't and know a lot what it's gonna do be, to you. You don't know what's in it. Right. There could be toxins, sometimes fillers, right? Usually A lot, a lot of chemicals yeah. that your, your body absolutely doesn't need and yeah. can clog up the kidney, the liver, the colon, yeah. right? Can, can actually do sometimes more harm than good right. if you're not sure what it's you're It's creating doing. stress. Right. Those, those off the shelf supplements, uh, you mentioned fillers, they're filled with tons of fillers. Mm. Uh, it just, it's cheap, that's why. So they just want your money pretty much. And I, I'm not being a conspiracy theorist or anything like that, saying the big bad corporation or anything like, like that, but you just have to be aware of that. Right. And all of these fillers, these toxins, again, they create stress on the body. That's right. that chemical stress that we were talking and about. And that's how sometimes people, and I've heard, they say, oh, I don't take supplements because mm -hmm. I get sick. Mm. Like I, I hear that, wow. you know, not all the time, but yeah. people are like, yeah, well, I just took that one supplement that's from, you know, one store, I bought yeah. it and I kind of felt sick and I just never touched supplements again after that. Yeah. I thought supplements just aren't good for me. Right, exactly. Right. and and. Likely the, the case is not necessarily that it's not right for you at that time because again, I think those kind of supplements are so poorly absorbed that your body's not really intaking it at all. It's all the fillers and the toxins that go along mm. with those products. That's what's creating that sickness in the body. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, Nathan, thank you so much oh, for it's been really a pleasure. It's been a enlightening pleasure. this this whole you know, everything and giving us a lot of information. Yeah. I hope a lot of you at home watching this really, really appreciates the time that Nathan has taken. Thank to you. Sit down and yeah. uh, go through all this uh, really important information with us. Great. And so. and I have to say. Um, just kind of for the audience out there, what a thrill has been for us to be able to work with you. I mean, we we are amazed, truly amazed at how much you've been able to grow your practice in such a short amount of time. It's just a testament to the care that you give your patients. Right. And I know you treat them individually. Individually. And that's the way it should they, be. Every single client and patient is family to me. I love it. And great. how I look at it is, if I'm going to take the time to take mm -hmm. care of my mom, mm -hmm. well, I need to take the time to take care of this individual right. because it is going to be someone's daughter, son, mother, Absolutely. father, brother, sister, which that's what I do. Right. You know, and I right. hope that a lot of practitioners do the same thing. You know, I yeah. think that there's a, a little bit of lack of that sometimes in the industry, mm -hmm. you know, and sometimes that's where the carelessness comes from or yeah. they try to say, oh, this is going to be for everybody when it's really something that's individualized, individualized. for everyone. And, it, and so. it has to be, you know, and right. that's why I, I like that, uh, the model that you've created here. Right. It, it it blows my mind. You know, I, I wish every practitioner could, could be doing exactly what oh. you're doing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate again. your time. All right. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.